All right, people, Catfish Dave here. I just got back filming a video, and I'm needing to freshen up on some bait. Summer's here, or late summer, and uh, sometimes, man, uh, these skipjack can be a little finicky. When you're throwing everything under the sun and ain't nothing getting it done, especially in the heat of summer, that right there will get it done. A popper float, very popular in saltwater fishing initially. Uh, what the popper does is it splashes the water and it looks like fish feeding on bait fish. It entices a bite. Sometimes when they won't hit nothing else, they will hit a popper float. I'll give you a demonstration. That quick. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him attack it, man. <laughs> That's the wrong fish. Hey, I'll save them. He got me all tangled up.
that bad boy right there. Alright guys, uh, that right there is sputtering tarpon fishing in Florida. This here is a Billy Ray aggravator and this thing moves up and down, makes that clangy sound, uh, splashes the water like fish feeding on bait fish. Uh, if fish think another fish is attacking a bait, they're like piranhas. They get excited, man. That's a bait right there. All right, y'all. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I noticed them skipjack just seemed to be a little tough to get. I was working hard, working hard, and I remembered everything I know, and uh, I didn't have a popper float on me, so I stopped by the Big Fish Outfitters and bought that one, and. Uh, that's how I've been getting my skipjack over oh, the last couple of weeks out here in the heat of September below these dams. They can't resist it, man. I got to get to the store, get me some ice, and I'm ready to go catfishing. Make sure to hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Day with another one. Signing out.